is Tracy from Grizzly Knits. I'm back. I've been gone quite a while. Um, I'm really excited to podcast today and show you all the things I've been working on. Um, this is a knitting podcast in case you're new. Welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm in a new location. This may be good and it may not work out. So I am on our main floor and I am with the dogs. So there's one right here see the tail here. They are very curious why I'm talking to my phone um, and we'll see how it goes. I can always stop it if if they get a little, yeah, I'm just going to show knitting, knitting, okay? Um, they may get a little curious or th this guy barks when like squirrels go by or people or leaves or anything. So we'll see how it goes. But Let's get started. I have a lot to show you. I've done a lot of knitting um, and finished objects and things like that. So let's get started. Uh, we'll start with finished objects. So I can't really remember. I think I was halfway done these last time. These are a finished pair of socks that I did. I, I feel like I started them in October. So I just did some shorties. I started a little pattern um, and then I kind of gave up. Oh, I remember I was doing it at the same time as my sh shellography, the Stephen West knit along and my brain like closed down around here and I had to do vanilla. So they came out really nice. I really like them. The yarn I used was from my Yarnable. Um, I think it was called, oh, here we are. It was called Sweet and Sour from Yarnable, and I have this much left. So that was first pair of socks done. And then I moved on. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna show you my finished shellography. So a lot of you saw it on Instagram and you can follow me. Uh, I'll put where you can follow me down below. Uh, Grizzly Knits, it's not that hard. But um, I did show it there. Where is it? I have, I'm not, my usual organized, I just kind of threw everything in this basket. Yes, okay. Um, so this is my shellography. And I had a lot of thoughts um, on my last podcast about it. And I was actually like, when I finished the podcast, I was like, oh, I, I sound so negative. And I felt really bad about that because I know so many people were enjoying it and I, I was like, oh, you know, kind of beating myself up. But then I had like so many comments about, you know, oh, I feel the same or, you know, like, you know, a lot of what other people were feeling. So I didn't feel too bad. But looking back, it was such a great experience that I'm so happy I did it. So I'm not going to go through the yarns. Um, I have that on Instagram and I have that kind of different places but it really it got better and better for me like I know I was like kind of iffy about some of the parts but now it's like a whole I love it and I wear it quite a bit so what I did though at the bottom I didn't add those crisscrosses and I also didn't add the whole striped ending because I just thought it wasn't really for me and I also thought that um I wouldn't wear it if it was like massive. So I ended up doing, oh, I did a little brioche because it was my first time doing it. And um, I really liked it. It wasn't too bad. I think if I was to do it again, I would kind of go back to Stephen West's tutorial on it because he just, he explains it really, really well. So you can see a little bit of it there. And then I just, basically bound off. I'm like, I'm done. I don't want to look up fancy finishes. I, I'm just done and I want to finish. And because there was like more stitches than not, I guess, it gave like this pretty kind of ruffly effect. Not, not huge ruffly, but just like a little bit. And I really like it. So I've been, I've worn it quite a few times. I usually wear my shawls like this. Well, a little nicer than this, but yeah. So I usually wear them like this, and uh, before it got really cold, I was wearing it quite a bit. 
and I was really happy with it. So, we've done that. Um, would I do it again next year? That's a really good question. I have some time to think. I don't know. I don't know if mysteries are my... I like mystery... I like mystery presents. <laughs> Um, I like mystery yarns. I don't know if I, I like mystery patterns as much because I've, I don't know. I, I want to, I guess I need to see will like, will I like it and will I wear it? So I kind of learned that about myself. Anyway, that is done. Um, what shall we move on to? Oh, what I'm wearing. So I also did um, a love note. I can't remember if I started it with you guys last time. I don't even know. Um, anyway, I'll just stand up a little bit. So this is my love note. I did crop it and I'm learning my perfect length that I enjoy wearing things with, like for me, and that's helping a lot. So when I go through a sweater, I know now where to start my ribbing, where to bind off, and I think that's gonna be really helpful. Um, if you don't know, the Love Note is a beautiful pattern by Tin Can Knits, and it is, um, I don't know what it is about it, it's just amazing. It's easy, and it's it doesn't take a lot of yarn. So this is my second one, and you're supposed to start with a provi provincial? No, that's not it. Uh, I'm gonna write it down below. Cast on. <laughs> Read and then cast on. Um, and I didn't want to because I was just not feeling it and I just wanted to start. And so I didn't and it, it makes very little difference. Like I just started and uh, worked out my numbers and it was, it was completely fine. The yarn, let me just find, where's my, I wanted to show you this yarn. Okay, so the yarn was a gift from Knit Crate to me that I probably showed a few podcasts ago. And it, it is amazing. So this is what I have left of two skeins. Um, it's a DK weight and that's what this, um, this sweater takes. So each skein was 252 yards and I have this left of two skeins. So like I said, it does not take a lot of yarn. Now granted, like this is a small, um, but it's still like really affordable to make a love, a love, I was gonna say love craft. I just put knit, I just put a whole bunch of different things together. A love note. Um, oh, and last time, um, I did a three quarter love note and this time I did a uh, short sleeve. Again, learning about myself, I don't wear my three quarter length sleeves. I live in Canada, it's cold, um, very cold. And it's like, when I wear a sweater, this, this doesn't help me right here. This helps me because then I can put something under or the whole, the whole sweater is good but I don't think I'm gonna make three quarter length sleeves anymore. Okay, back to this yarn, the, the Daliana Oasis. And this color was Phoenix. Oh, did I love this color. It's like a purpley blue. I don't know, like purpley blue. It is such a perfect color anyway. That was really nice. And I've been, again, wearing a lot, wearing this a lot. I really like it. So that was another one that I did, another. And then I moved into uh, doing some hats. So I finished the Twistmas hat um, by, I can't remember. I will put it down below. It was a free pattern. Um, I put it on Instagram this week and then I gave it to my mom. <laughs> And she really likes it and looks good on her. I'll put a picture up here. And um, so that was one hat. And then my I did another hat. Oh, this hat I put on Instagram yesterday. And I just wanted to show you. Did I bring? Oh, no, I didn't bring the yarn. Okay. It is a Knit Picks yarn. It is the City Tweed DK. 
and it, it's like j the colorway is like j jacquard jacquard I don't know I'm gonna write it down below I got a lot of writing to do um anyway I just cast it on I did four millimeter needles I cast it on uh 84 stitches and I did a rib so just knit pearl knit pearl and I did it for eight inches and then I did a couple of rows of decreases and that's it simple simple hat I'll show you how it looks I think it's really cute it's gonna be for my son um and they like they don't like well my sons don't like the slouchy they like it fit, more fitted and they don't like pom-poms so anyway fix my hair and yeah so he's gonna get that and this was a like I want to say it was a quick knit but I have to be honest with you guys hats for me they're not quick I don't know why they just I don't know if it's like I get I'm slow or I just get kind of I don't want to say bored but bored um of going round and round and round and maybe I put it down more I don't know I feel like hats take me a really long time I don't know why anyway that was done and then I did one more hat I feel like this one I started with you guys all that all those weeks ago oh my goodness if you saw the mess here okay we're gonna move this over here see this is what happens when you don't podcast for a while oh here we are okay this hat yeah I showed you guys this Rafa's hat by Hokey Locatelli it's a free pattern and maybe I started it when I showed you guys last anyway here it is and this is just some like stash yarn some just worsted weight stash yarn that I had I I didn't follow the pattern um exactly but it's really cute and I'll show you what that looks like I don't know what who's getting this one or if I'm keeping it but it's cute and it's it's uh really warm and then I just put a little a little pom-pom on which I don't even know where I got I have like a bin of pom-poms upstairs in my craft room um yeah so that was another hat this is a great pattern I liked it a lot I would do this one again okay hats are done next I okay so oops <laughs> Okay, here we go. That wasn't because I dropped something. Okay, we'll see how bad it is. Okay, I, I think I'm going to shut this off. Hi. Okay, sorry about that. Um, this is life. Flax. Yes, talking about the flax. And, oh no, I already talked about the flax. Talking about a little sweater. Oh yes, I used the leftovers from my, um, the sweater I did with the hearts um, by Andrew Mallory. I'll write it down below. Anyway, so adorable, super cute. And I just found out my cousin had a baby last night, uh, a little bit early, still needed to cook a little bit, but so he's gonna be really small right now. He's really, really tiny, but he will grow and I will get this uh, sent off. They live in Vancouver. I will put this in the mail and hopefully at some point in the winter, they, he will be able to wear this. It's just so cute. This is an amazing pattern. I loved it. I'm gonna make more because it was great. And now, and I also wanna make one for me. And apparently they have like a flax light. So like uh, um, maybe, I guess it will be fingering, which would be really nice. Anyway. Love that pattern. That is a great pattern. Okay, did I finish all? I think I finished all my finished objects. So now we'll go move into what I've been working on. We'll start with socks. I have been working on some plain vanilla socks. Here they are. And um, 
I've been using, this is leftover from my shalom griffey. So this is Cozy Posy yarn. Oh my. I can't even tell you how soft this yarn is and how gorgeous the colors are. So this is it here. I still have like a lot left. So nice. And then the gray that I used in my shallography, I'm doing for my cuffs and my heels and my toes. And I'm doing them the same way I always do, 56 stitches on two 16 inch needles, 2.25 millimeters. Um, and um, I always do a heel flap and gusset because it fits me the best. So I think I did uh, 15 rows for my cuff and then I did 60 rows for my leg and then I don't know how many rows I do for my foot. I have um, a ruler, a foot ruler that I use. So yeah, this I'm trying to find, I, I'm sorry, I don't have the color name of this, um, but if you go and look on my shallography stuff, you'd find that name. I thought I'd remember it. Why do I think I'd remember things? I should know by now. I am not gonna remember anything. So anyway, really enjoying those. And then I, I really wanted to start a holiday sock um, to have for like Christmas and stuff. Even though, you know, I don't celebrate Christmas. Um, I still love it. You, you know how much I love Christmas. Anything Christmas, I love it. So I got this yarn quite a while ago um, by Timber Yarns, a Canadian company. And this is called, I think it's called Work It. Yep, Work It. I must have bought this in 2019. I think I bought it at the Knitters, Toronto Knitters Frolic. Um, I remember that was the first one I went to and I loved it so much and there hasn't been another one. So maybe one day it'll be another one. Anyway, I loved the colors. So they come two in, in a pack. So it's perfect for my knitting. And uh, anyway, so I, oh, I'm putting it in my bag, my, um, my uh, inspired knitting podcast bag. So Sweet Designs. Um, Bobby and I did a collaboration earlier this year not early this year. Uh, when did we do it? I think in October, didn't we? Maybe November, maybe November. Anyway, and um, I had to get one of the bags because I loved it. So, oh, and this is how it looks so far. I'm sorry, I'm like, I think I'm in the middle of something. This isn't how you should show things, but you can kind of see what's happening. So I'm doing it in the same way, but they're so cute. I just love them. Look how they're like knitting up. They're just gonna be adorable. I'm not doing any contrast colors. I'm just doing the whole complete thing in this yarn. Oh, I have, I was trying to find like, I'm all sold out of my, um, right now, I'm all sold out of my, my um, own progress keepers and stitch markers for the holidays. Um, if you've ordered, like yours are probably out or um, I'm making more this weekend, so it's not like I'm out out, um, but for me, I'm out, like I don't have extras for me to put on my own knitting. So I found this adorable, this is from Little Bitty Delights, and it's a little gumdrop, and I thought it was so like festive and cute. Anyway, I'm really liking these. So I have, these I want to, I'm gonna try to do these first and not go back to my other socks, even though like they're, they're so far in advance, but I really want to get these done. Did I get them done? Today is December 10th. I, I might, if I like buckle down a little, we'll see. Anyway, I'd love to wear them on Christmas day. Okay, so they are a ton of fun to make. I'm finding I just want vanilla socks lately. So that's what I'm doing because I'm the boss of my own knitting. All right, what else am I working on? I'm saving advent knitting 
Okay, there's one other thing I'm working on. So I want, I didn't want to go into 2000, <laughs> forgot the year, 2022 um, with, I have so many blankets. Let me start with that. I have a lot of blankets I've started. I seem to be really good at starting blankets. Uh, I know a lot of you are, are probably going, yeah, me too. But, um, so I have a plan. I just came up with this plan yesterday. <laughs> so I started this, I don't know when, I have to look in my files and my books, but um, this is just a granny square blanket with these really pretty colors. And I, I don't know what happened. I, I, I start off strong and then it's like, you know, you don't work on it for a while and then suddenly you turn around and like, oh, I haven't worked on it in two months. So I counted how many squares am I gonna need? I don't know if this will be a baby blanket to be honest with you, cause I'm running out of like those main colors. I have lots of the white. Um, so I don't know. So I think I did the calculations as if it's gonna be a big baby blanket and then we'll kind of see from there. And I need, I'll show you what I did. So this is my little piece of paper. So I just put the days up until, I'm giving myself to New Year's Eve to finish this. So I gave myself, I calculated I need two granny squares. I need to make two granny squares a day and attach them. And I'm doing it, um, I am joining as you go. And then I'll tick off and I'll try to get this done. Because if I don't do this, like it's amazing how two squares a day make a huge difference. Like as opposed to zero squares a day. Funny how that works. Anyway, blanket goals for New Year's Eve. I'm gonna post on New Year's Eve on Instagram how my blanket goals went. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing. This is all just acrylic yarn, worsted weight, and I am using a four and a half size hook. And that's that's all I have to say. Basic granny squares, but they look really pretty. It looks so pretty. I'd like it done. So I've been trying to be good with that. Okay, I think we'll move on to Advent. So, I got an Advent by Sweet Sparrow Knits. And it's in here. And I love it. I have been loving it. Um, everything about it. It's it's amazing. I think I think we need Advents for the whole year. Every day, just to open some yarn. It would make us all so happy. Um, okay, so this is how it looks. And then you get a full skein of yarn for the 25th. So, so I got very stressed about what am I gonna do with it? Because I know myself and if I don't have a plan, it'll sit and just look pretty. And then January will come and then February will come. And it's like, no, I gotta find the perfect, um, the perfect pattern. So, I, last year I did a Curious Handmade, um, one of her patterns, and I cut it down. She makes, I find she makes her wraps in her scarves really big, really long. So I liked it and I love her writing. So I thought I would check her out again. So let me show you what's going on. I found this, it's called Skyline Wrap. The thing I like about it, and this for an advent, the thing I like about it is it's got different stitches. It's, it's a little bit hard to see on camera, but go check it out. It's got different stitches. It's got a lot of chevrons, some lace. Um, I really like it. The only thing is it's, this is way too long. Like what, like, and I'm small, so you can imagine. So I thought I'm gonna, cut it down. This was my first thought. I'm going to cut it down. Um, each section I just cut down. So I won't do the chevron all of the rows, she says. But just to make sure I do the last row so that 
all the stitches are good. She also gives you instructions to make it thinner. So I thought I'd like that too, because um, I didn't want, hers is a wrap and I wanted more of a scarf. Then I realized my advent is 10 grams. 10 grams? Yeah, 10 grams instead of 20 grams. That's what I ordered, nobody's mistake, just my own. Um, so I don't have as much yarn as I thought I did, which will probably all work out in the end. And I thought, why are you getting so stressed? This is silly. So I have started, and this is how it looks so far. So the ribbing, so that, that was day one of Advent. And then what you do is you need two days of Advent. So, which works out very well because, you know, I'm not the fastest knitter, so it usually takes me two days to get a section done. So it works out perfectly. So here we have day two and three, and then we have four and five, and then six and seven, and then last night I started eight and nine. So like I'd open today's, which is 10, and then save it, and then tomorrow 11, and then hopefully I'll be on 10 and 11, if that makes any sense. It sounded kind of confusing to me, but <laughs> anyway, I'm really liking this. I think it's gonna be different. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, and you know what, if it's not as long after all said and done, if it's not as long as I wanted, I can always just bring in another color or bring in another part of the design. I have quite a lot left. Like. I don't know, 10 grams is like not as small as I thought. Like this, I'm, I'm done already and I have this all left. So this could be another section if I need it, but we're only on day 10, so. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this, so. And I have a few little Santa in a sleigh. I don't even know where I got this. A long time ago, somebody gave it to me maybe. I don't know, it's so cute. Okay, so that's, those are the active whips. So two pairs of socks, my advent, and a blanket. That doesn't seem crazy. No, it doesn't. Okay, so now I want to go on to things I received in the mail. Oh, no, I don't. You know what I want to show you? I did a cross stitch. So my daughter asked me to do a cross stitch. Um, and I haven't done one before. I've done like the tiniest things ever for stitching. I am not a stitcher. I am not a, I don't sew. Um, but she wanted a cat. So I went on Amazon and I got a kit and I did my first cross stitch. Possibly my last. <laughs> it's, it turned out really cute. Um, but it's not me. The craft is not me. I, I may do, like, there's some really cute ones on, on Amazon. There's some plants and I don't know. I, like, I'm not going to say, oh, I'll never do another one because it was really enjoyable. But um, boy, do I give credit to, the, to my fellow podcasters out there that do this and like, not like this, like the whole thing and it's not, it's, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, but I don't know. It's cute. So she, she hangs this in her room. So I'm really, I'm happy she likes it. All right. So that was that. Okay. So this is another, I want to show you my, I have a plan that I want to share with you. And it kind of, some of the yarn is, um, things I have bought. Do I have all my, I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, um, I have been doing some subscriptions this year. I'm taking a break from subscriptions, so I won't be getting any. They're, they're so much fun. It's just, I need to slow down a little bit. Uh, so my latest one from Pip and Pin, I don't know if I showed you this, so, so forgive me if I did, but are these colors and they're so beautiful. Um, I was watching, who was I watching? I feel like I was watching Woolen Vine and she was wearing the 
Birkin by Caitlin Hunter. And I'll show you this, how it looks. So it's just a sweater, plain sweater, and then it's got all this detail color work up here, but they're, they're like flowers and leaves almost. Oh, leaves? Yeah, flowers and leaves. So I got in my head, I wanted to do all the color work from these colors. And then I went to my absolute favorite knitting store in the entire world, the Knitting Loft. You guys know I love it there because I always post it on Instagram. And I found this. It is beautiful yarn, very soft by, I haven't heard of this brand before, Chesky. I don't know what that is. It's super wash merino wool and it's got a bit of cotton and linen in it too. So I thought, won't that look gorgeous? So the whole sweater will be the gray and then we've got that for the color. Super excited about this. This is gonna be my New Year's Eve cast on. Cause some people go out and some people knit. I'm a knitter. I don't go out. No, I'm just kidding. Well, not really. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to casting this on New Year's Eve. And by then I'll have the blanket done and socks done. Maybe my advent. That would be nice. We'll see. We won't, we won't make such bold statements, but anyway, love this. I'm very excited about that. Okay. What else did I get in the mail? Well, while we're on, talking about the knitting loft, I went there last week. I got these really cute stoppers, cocoa knits, um, which I, I actually had no stoppers. Can you believe that? So I got those and then everyone's talking about this cord to try on sweaters. I've, I've seen it on a whole bunch of podcasts and Instagram and you just pop in your needle in the tip and then that way you can try on your sweater and not put like it on uh, scrap yarn and things like that. So I thought that is a great idea and I need that. So I got that when we went. The dogs are having a nap. That's why they're so quiet. Okay, so that is there. I also got some yarn from Knit Crate. This, I feel like, I hope I didn't show you guys this from last time. Um, it's, I don't think I did. It's the Daliana and it's called Tweety Sheep. I'll show it to you. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what I'm doing with this, but boy, it's pretty and it's soft. It is called Pumpkin Spiced Everything. I probably was supposed to get this in October. That's it. Um, and it's wool and... Donegal Nepal? I don't know what that is, but that's okay. It's Aran weight and you get 150 yards in each. So it's a bit thicker. I don't know, I kind of see a hat maybe for the fall or we'll see. It's really pretty. So I'm really um, excited to use that. All right, and saving my best happy mail, I got a beautiful gift this morning from a fellow knitter, Caitlin from the Cozy Moth Knits, and I've become really good friends, and I'm so grateful for our friendship, um, and she sent me a gift, and that was like the sweetest thing ever. It came with this, she wrote a little card, so sweet. And she said, this yarn reminded her of me. Neutrals with a pop of color. It's Ritual Dyes. I have not used this yarn before. I'm so excited. It's from Portland. And this color is called Alabaster. I love it. And it was so sweet. And then she put a little bag to go with it from Ritual Dyes. They have their little logo, it's really cute. So that was just so sweet and so thoughtful. Thank you, Caitlin. And she has, she's doing Vlogmas right now, um, not every day, but like a catch up. Uh, so go check her out on 
Netflix. And she's always working on such beautiful projects. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, I think I've shown you almost everything. Yeah, I think I did pretty well. Um, I will be having a small shop update. Oh, that's what I want to show you. A small shop update. I'm thinking New Year's Eve. I don't know why like I'm making that the goal of everything in my life, but New Year's Eve um, because Okay, so I wanted to do a new, a, like a small collection for January about word of the year, because I'm a big word of the year fan. So every year I pick a word and I write it in my planner and I try to think about that word as much as I can during the year. So for example, um, simplicity was my word for this year. Um, and just trying to bring it into my everyday life. And uh, and it worked a lot of times. And I'm thinking of my yarn room upstairs. Sometimes it didn't work. But I love Word of the Year. So I'm, I'm releasing a small little Word of the Year collection. So each, I'll show you, each, um, Each set is going to have, I don't know if you can see this, one progress keeper with some of the gems and a star. And then we've got two stitch markers. So this one's gonna be called Embrace. This one is Conquer. This one is Kindness. And this one is still. I haven't chosen my word of the year yet. I'll let you know when I do on Instagram probably. Um, anyway, I'm gonna release these New Year's Eve and uh, yeah, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, I think I have, uh, I have everything. I've been, uh, really enjoying some of the vlogmas. I was a little overwhelmed because there's just so many to watch. So I've kind of like pared it down to my favorites. And um, I try to keep with those every day. And that's about it. The kids are in exams and in assignments and they're really, really busy. But next Friday, they're all off. And um, it'll be really nice just to have some downtime with them and um, just some knitting, knit, more knitting time, but not the crazy running around time. I think I'll like that. So I hope you are all doing really well and it was so nice catching up with you. I hope this video wasn't too long and things I've talked about, I will list them down below so you can check them out yourselves. And if you have any questions, please contact me and I will do my best to help you out.